This is a 1997 Honda Accord, and it's leaking a little oil under the engine and about here. With a little light, it's easy to see the oil is coming from around the distributor housing, and dripping down the front of the engine and in the back as well. This is a common problem. It's easy to fix. The part that needs to be replaced is this O-ring. It was under $3. Before I take the distributor off, I'm just going to mark exactly where it is. It's easy to see a light scratch between the housing and where it attaches. If you use a pen, you can wipe off the pen mark with, or if you're cleaning it, then the pen mark's gone, but the scratch will always be there. Next, I'm going to take the distributor cap off, make a millimeter socket. Three screws, one, two, and another one underneath. Taking out these two screws, you have to feel for the third screw. It's easy to identify. It's on the same plane as these others. Sure extension. extension has a grip so it's easy to twist once it's loose the rest of the way. Okay, and that's it. Leave the wires on. The distributor goes in two ways. So to make sure there's no confusion about which way the rotor is pointing, just mark it with a Sharpie. Removing the distributor is easy. It, from here it's just three bolts. One, two, and another one underneath. You have to feel for it. 12 millimeter socket. A little bit awkward, but reachable. Okay, last bolt. If you drop the one that's underneath, which is easy to do. You need a flashlight and a magnet to fish it out. That's it. Should come right out now. There it is. You can see the oil spots underneath where it's been leaking. And we'll just remove this gasket and replace it with the new one. small point on it that you can get underneath the old gasket. It's brittle and coming out in pieces. Age and heat just doesn't hold up. It's cracked. New one goes right on. Soft, flexible. There's already oil here, so that lubricates any it for easy installation. This goes right back where it was. Okay. Stop. Just 
gently working it in so the there that way avoid tearing the new o-ring line up the mark check to make sure the rotors pointing to the arrow there's my sharpie arrow all the three bolts back one is a little bit tricky. You have to hold on to it and put it in the hole at the same time so you don't drop it. Okay. Now just tighten them up. The marks are still lined up. The Sharpie's still lined up with the rotor. Doesn't take much to hold it in place. Just a little bit more than finger tight. And that's it. There's also a seal on the shaft inside the distributor. And you can check it for oil and inspect it if you think it's leaking on the inside, but there's really not much you can do about that other than replace the distributor. There's a little bit of oil inside here. I'm cleaning it out with brake clean because brake clean doesn't damage plastic. Okay, that's it. So I just put it back in place, tighten it up, and this is done. This cord was wrapped around behind this attachment and I, I just unpulled it and rerouted it so it wasn't so tight. I think that's a better position for it. Now, they should go right back the way they came off. Three screws. get them all finger tight and then tighten them ever so slightly a little bit more with a wrench. A little trouble getting the catch. Okay, that's the last one. Now a little bit of cleanup with the brake clean. That's it.